What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today we're going to be talking about the Nano Control Studio. Uh, now, this is a really dope slimline MIDI controller. And the thing that I love the most about it is that it is, you guessed it, Bluetooth. You can control this wirelessly using this to control your sounds, your DAWs. Uh, I really love this thing. I've been playing around with it for a few days and I think it's really, really cool. And I think it's going to stay, be a part of my whole scheme that's staying in my bag. This is going to be in my bag. I love it. I really do. Now, I've done the review in the past on the Nano Control 2. Uh, and so you may remember, you may have seen it. If not, we're going to link it up there so you can check it out. The Nano Control 2 uh, is really, really dope. It's also been one of my favorite um, uh, slimline MIDI controllers. Uh, and as you can see, size difference, they kind of compare. Uh, this one is longer, uh, just uh, they're about the same thickness. The Studio is a hair thicker, looks like. You know, it kind of looks like it's a hair thicker. But, um, of course, the studio has more control uh, on it or what have you that you can use as opposed uh, to this one. And that's the purpose. Uh, price wise, you're talking about a hundred dollars more than the than the Nano Control. This comes in at about sixty bucks. You're gonna pay about a hundred and sixty for this one. So for that extra hundred and sixty dollars, you're getting more controls, more buttons, more fa uh, well, not necessarily more faders because it's the same amount of faders and the same amount of knobs. Uh, but you get a jog wheel, more transport controls, more buttons over here, and wireless control or what have you. Now on the back here, they have a little switch that you can switch back and forth between uh, USB mode and battery mode. Uh, so, uh, you know, you kind of play around with that to see which one you like. I think even if you put it in USB mode, it's powered and it's powered. Uh, I think you can still use the Bluetooth. I'm not totally sure. I haven't tested it, but uh, it is really, really dope. Uh, and it can be used to control like all of those different things like that. So I have it connected wirelessly to my uh, computer here. And as you can see, I have Logic pulled up and I can control uh, every part of this. I can jog through my, uh, through my, you know, arrangement here. I can, if I go and select up here, because it does it based on, you know, which, um, you know, which section we in it controls a section of eight. So I can control the volumes on these tracks and the latency isn't really bad at all. Uh, it's pretty much almost real time. Uh, I can see a little, I can see a little lag, but it ain't anything that's going to mess up uh, anything that I'm doing uh, because it's not like I'm using this to play. I'm actually just using this control volume. So I got a play button, of course. <laughs> So I can control that. Uh, I can go back and forth, rewind. Um, I can um, I can also kind of move through my song, my my different um, you know my different tracks just by hitting the select button. I thought that in Logic, if I hit the track button, that it would actually go to the next track, but it doesn't do it. So in order to select the track, I have to press the select button. And by pressing it, you can jump to you know all of your different. Uh, tracks or what have you. So it's pretty cool. Of course, you got pan control where I can control the pan uh, right here. Uh, so in, in volume control, it's really, really dope. All your mute solo, that kind of stuff like that. Uh, it's really, really dope. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to really using this to control my sounds uh, and doing things like that. But comparing it to the Nano Control 2, uh, it's still uh, really, really cool. Really, really good. Uh, the extra hundred dollars that you're going to pay for it is for the um, is for the Bluetooth control and more options or whatever. So in terms of control, I, in terms of control, I give this an A plus in terms of durability. I give it uh, maybe an A minus because it doesn't it's it, it feels like if I drop it, you know, really, really hard from a high distance, it's going to break. Uh, but and I'm not sure about how sturdy the internals are on it as well. Um, so uh, I wouldn't, you know, because of the lightweightness and the materials that it's made of, it's plastic. I wouldn't give it uh, a high grade on that in terms of it. And it's not that thick. So 
you know, it's it is what it is. But I still give it an A minus. I don't give it like a D or a, or anything like that. Like this thing is fragile or anything like that. But it's you know, I give it an A minus. It's not probably the sturdiest or the most durable. I would think just the way it just by the way it feels. Um, and and just overall, I give it an A. You know, it's just it's just a great controller uh, to have in your bag if you can afford it. If it's in your budget, if 150 bucks, uh, 160 bucks uh, isn't really something that's going to break your budget to get to use for control. You can use this uh, in a myriad of DAWs. Cons, I would say um, it wasn't straightforward how to connect it to different uh, different DAWs. So I'm going to do some separate videos on some of the DAWs I have uh, and how to connect it. Maybe like to connect it in Ableton and connect it in Studio One because it's not like readily and it's not really much information inside of the manual that comes with it. Of course, you get a ton of free software uh, with this. Hold on one second. I'll show you this. Um, I'll cover it up so you don't get my code, but there's a software code that comes with it that gives you a ton of free software. If you saw my nano control video, you, you saw that there's a ton of software and it's all the same software that comes with the nano control, you know, the basic nano control. So you're getting a ton of software, you're getting reason, you're getting a uh, uh, code discount code for Ableton, you're getting a ton of stuff like that uh, for it, ton of little plugins and other little things. So it's, it's very much a good buy price wise, I'd say that it's definitely worth uh, the cost uh, to get uh, to get that or what have you. So I hope this helped you. I hope this blessed you. I hope this gave you some insight into this controller and how, uh, you know, you can use it, you know, with, uh, you know, different software or whatever in a comparison between it and the original nano control. Uh, so, uh, you know how we do check out all the other videos, hit the like button, the share button, all those buttons, those things that do stuff on the video. I'm out. Holla at your boy.